in an office. Uh, anyone else miserable 40 hours a week? <laughs> Good, yep, there we go. I was there for six years, which I knew was too long because at the end I started every sentence with, I've been here for six years! <laughs> you want milk and sugar with that coffee, sir? <laughs> it's too long. I got to the point where I would go to the bathroom, even if I didn't have to go, and just play Candy Crush till I ran out of lives. <laughs> Right. At the end, I just got an HBO Go on my phone and got all six seasons of The Sopranos on there. So guess which guy was taking two to three hour shits every afternoon? <laughs> <laughs> At the end, I was, I was trying to look for, for new work, but it's difficult because every office job kind of looks the same. Whenever you look, it's like, must have three to five years experience. Must be a self-starter and a team player. Ugh. It made me realize I want the job of writing honest job descriptions. Like, must be okay with Karen's bullshit. And if I could get honest job descriptions, I'd really love to have an honest job interview. How great would that be, right? How often do people ask, what's your greatest weakness? And what does everyone say? I'm, I'm a bit of a perfectionist. Like, do right, right? No, I want to give the honest answer. What's my greatest weakness? Dairy products. <laughs> What's my greatest weakness? After a couple cocktails, I start using racial slurs. <laughs> I, uh, I got to the point where I had written a draft of my goodbye email <laughs> and just had it ready to go. And I wrote it using all movie quotes. <laughs> yeah, I want to read it to you guys and I want to see if you guys can guess which movie it's from. Yeah. All right? Yeah, it should be fun. All right. Dear employees, just a formality. That's just the first movie line. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. <laughs> Gone with the wind, great. Next line, they made me an offer I couldn't refuse. <laughs> Godfather, excellent, beautiful. Next line, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, you're cool, fuck you, I'm out. Half-baked. Half-baked, there we go. <laughs> That joke always needs a stoner in the audience. Thank you. Next line. I didn't even want to work here. Everyone is so weird. I didn't even want to work here. Everyone is so weird. It was gone with the winds. <laughs> the first mate just had it. No, it was Iron Man 3. Iron Man 3. <laughs> the big line. And then big sign-off line. Thanks for all the fish. Uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. There we go. Beautiful. And that was it. That was my goodbye letter. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I have a girlfriend, which is nice. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> She's Russian, my girlfriend, which means that even in a heterosexual relationship, I'm the bottom. <laughs> There's no... Listen, the French and the Germans both tried and failed to dominate the Russian people. I can't even get my beard to complete. I have no chance. She's teaching me a lot about Russian cuisine, which is very nice. Like instead of gazpacho, the chilled vegetable soup, Russians have borscht, the chilled beet soup. Very tasty. Instead of ice cream, the sweet dessert treat, Russians have more borscht. <laughs> very beet obsessed cuisine. We hit this big milestone in the relationship recently where it was pretty important. She, uh, she walked in on me masturbating. 
Well, we lived in the studio at the time, so really it was she turned around. <laughs> It was my fault, really. <laughs> she, of course, freaked out. She's like, oh my god, honey, is it something I'm doing? Do I need to do something differently? And I said, sweetie, it's not you. It's just me and my boy go way back. <laughs> There's nothing to do. <laughs> she calls me cute a lot, which is very nice. And she calls me cute so often, I'm beginning to suspect it's her code word for idiots. <laughs> She'll say things like, oh, it's so cute the way you take Tums before the pizza comes. <laughs> and I just, I know, I really have this gut feeling that every reason she calls me cute now is going to be a reason she breaks up with me later. <laughs> Right, one day she's just gonna go, stop ordering pizza! You're clearly lactose intolerant! Just have some borscht! Alright guys, I'm Max Cohen, you've been absolutely amazing.